Yep, sliced it open, but not to the bone. Like, let me know if you feel anything. No, man, I'm a big kid. from my mom she's uh 94 years old and she mm -hmm. had uh, she had a stroke last uh, in the last february and she's been at catholic care center up in uh, 45th and woodlawn uh, for about a month since march you know after she stabilized at the hospital but before, prior to that uh, last year 2020 she had a, a heart attack, oh, massive goodness. heart attack. But she recovered from that to where she was not being independent. Um, she broke, uh, had a hairline fracture on her left side pelvis. She accidentally fell, recovered from that. And uh, so she's had, since she's been up there, she's had pneumonia uh, four times. Oh my goodness. And she's had COVID. And on top of all of that, she is recovered. Wow. Yes. She is stabilized and doing well. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. It's excellent. 94. That's a long yeah, life. Yeah, 94, man. It's still... So I told her I'd pray with her every night and tell her, man, you still have purpose in life. You know? That's good. Very good. So I'm like, if she could do that, I... I have to be tough. <laughs> she would be proud. And she is very proud. Yeah, not about this. She would be like, oh my gosh. I <laughs> <laughs> really, you know, anybody else, you know, would be like, oh. but I just meant that her mentality. Not that she Mentally does, strong. That's right. Not that she doesn't uh, have physical pain, but. It's just that enduring will and that mentality to uh, persevere. That mental strength is yes, yes. probably the most important thing. It's attending only, look and so it's hey, only well. her three times so far what? <laughs> I'm just teasing I hope you. that's not true <laughs> I'm just teasing you man but we still have more numbing
So how long you think it'll take this to heal? Um, well... Your wag, your, your guess. It's better than mine. Um, well, the stitches will be in for at least seven days. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it should be, it won't be completely healed at that point, but I would say probably between... Oh, a couple of weeks. I would say probably about four weeks. Yeah. But I mean, this tissue still may be, it heals from the inside out. Right on. So the skin will be, that you see, will be the last part right on. to heal. Yeah, and that's how we heal as humans. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. The inside out. The Bible says, uh, may you prosper as your soul prospers, <laughs> you know, as you heal from the inside. So uh, you have to do your time as a CNA, or did you go straight to school? Um, I actually was a physical therapy okay. um, technician, I guess. Yeah. So I really didn't, but I had a lot of shadowing okay. experience. Um, but I didn't do the CNA route. A lot of my classmates did. It's very common, but I did not go that route. I never... Just between sports and everything, I never had the time to get the train training and. But your bachelor's is in BSN or is it a sports nope. medicine? No, it's um oh, biology. Uh, biology, okay. Oh wow! Yes. So you can go on even more if you wanted to. And yeah, did you ever... I say it's pretty generic Got degree, it. so I could well, do. Did you try to take the uh, MCAT? I did once. Okay. And it was the worst test of my life. Oh, no, no, you just wouldn't. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Some people, it they was... take the ACT two or three times, and some people take the bar countless times before they pass, but it's that perseverance. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Looks good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. You know? Just slowly but surely get in there. Yeah. Okay. Got anything to help? Um... I don't think so. Really. Okay, just holler for you today. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hold on. The blood seems like it's, uh, the flow is slowing down. It is. Right on. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the end cat was, I remember leaving it, and I was like, that was, well, first, I was sick, like, all week, just See? sick, worried about it. Right. So I got really anxious and just wasn't feeling well. And I was like, this isn't a good start. <laughs> and then the results weren't what I wanted or needed. Um, I mean, it was a good but gauge. But everything happens right? for a reason. Right on, right on. And, you know, it led me to where I am now. And, and you're happy. I am. Okay. Yes. And school will always be there. So if and I also, to... think about all the money that you saved. <laughs> don't know if it was as much as you'd think, but really, yeah. I mean, you went to Northwestern, right? Yes, yeah, that's, I had that's a little a bit D1. of a no. They're D two. Okay, D two. Still um, good school. And they're yeah. actually the cheapest. I think they're the cheapest state school in in Oklahoma. Yeah, or one of them at least. And I still yeah. Still had to get loans and well, things. Well, that's because you probably were out of state tuition type. Well, they waive it for, uh, for the nursing. athletes. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I had a little bit, but um, come to find out, I got kind of gypped on my scholarship a little bit. So, you know, it could have. Right I really probably could have gotten more, but I didn't. I was just happy to go play. Yeah. So, I just kind of and. You know, my parents are very supportive. And, That's awesome. That, that helps a lot to keep but, you going. Yeah, but, you know, they just, my, my brother was in college, too, so. Oh, yes. You know, they just right 
they supported us growing up and yeah well look at you now you're at a place where you're independent you can support yourself and you can you can go on as far as you want to go from here they you know and honestly i like had classmates and things and teammates who have had everything paid for by their parents and you know come out debt free yeah i just you know i worked yeah worked two three jobs while i played and tell you make sure endurance it made me the person i exactly. am so i wouldn't trade it any e other exactly. way to even be debt i mean obviously it'd be nice to be debt free but yeah, yeah. Keep, i think it keep doing a good job a or you'll be debt free yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you're doing a great job yeah my, i got a, a 17 i got uh, 10 kids oh wow i know and uh all of them are doing good well awesome <laughs> right? Uh, all of them are, are uh, college, uh, some of them are college graduates. I have one graduate from WSU. But all of the ones who are 18 and above have at least two years of college. Good. Because what I told them was, I don't care if you're not sure what you're going to do, you're still going to need the basics. So you owe me, I'll help you get the first two years. And after that, if, you don't, if college ain't for you, that's fine. You can go do something else or whatever. Let's see. Yeah, no, I think my parents were kind of the same way. Because they did help me a little bit when I was in JUCO. Had a, like a yeah. allowance, I guess. So, so I've got, uh, let's see, one, two, four of them. One, one is on her way to be a, a PA. Oh, very cool. That, that's right. She's in Great Bend taking classes. Nice. Okay, let's see. Can we move? There we go. Perfect. Yeah. And, Great and Bend. So one, she's at, that's at Barton? I'm not it's sure, art. but it could be. I'm not sure. She just, you know, not sure the name of it. The other one, her her sister that's a couple years older, she graduated from WSU with a, a degree in uh, marketing and web design, and she is doing great. She's Her business is like Blossom. Awesome. To the point where she, she hired her older sister, actually. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the one, because uh, the older one, the second one, she had a baby, and so, you know, she needed uh, some, some type of work to do while yeah. she was recovering, so her younger sister hired her, which I thought was awesome. That is. You know. It's very cool. And then I have one that's going to graduate at 17. She's graduating this year. Wow. And she's going to, uh, yeah, Kansas City. She's going to go to school up there. Very nice. And she wants to be uh, in a forensic uh, pathologist or something like that. Awesome. But she's going up there just to get away from home, you know, <laughs> so yeah. kids are. So. Nice. Yeah. And then I have a 13-year-old son, and he's into Fortnite. <laughs> which, you know, he's still, you know, undeclared. He's up. And then I have uh, a 9-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a 2-year-old. Oh, yeah. Well, they got. They got a ways to go. They do, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, never but, too early to. Well, they got uh, a lot of uh, older siblings to help them. Exactly. You know, give them good advice. So, but I like that they all like pro education. You know. Oh yeah, we are. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> is almost impossible. Yeah, I agree. The moron that engineered this. I agree. <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah. That's going to be right with you, okay? Hey. I'll just leave this right here. My uh, number two daughter, the one that I was telling you about, she actually had uh, stitches in the back of her head or Oh, goodness. Well, you know, they were rough and tumble girls, you know. 
And her older sister uh, pushed her into a corner of the wall, you know. And uh, split, split it open like we laughed about, man. She busted open to the white meat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and that's what that's uh, reminding me of as you... You stick the white meat back in, I'm like yeah. And but she didn't cry. Jasmine's a soldier, man. She didn't. Wow. She didn't cry. How old bit. was she? At the time, she was maybe uh, ten or eleven. Whew. Tough cookie. And she was laughing and like <laughs> joking about it, you know. So, good kids, tough kids. So do they made all of you get vaccinated, or is that something you guys do voluntarily? Voluntary. Okay. So what happens? Uh, let's just say you refuse for conscientious reason, for religion, whatever. What happens if you refuse? Um, well, right now, since it's emergency use only, they can't. They can't. Okay, got you. So, as far as when things change, I don't know what all. Right, and that, the reason I ask is because I do feel that that is uh, where we're headed, in some form, because you know they talk. Let's talk about variants yep. of, of the you know, virus uh, in Europe, places like that, and then spreading again. So. Yeah, I actually got my second shot today. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you had the virus already, or you just, just decided I'm going to just get the shot? No, I just I did my own research and thought about it, and I have family members who are kind of high risk, so gotcha. I yeah. went ahead and was like, you know what, I need to do this for those around me who can't get it. And uh, have you had any side effects so far? Um, the first shot, I was super tired. Yeah. And I had a little bit of body aches, and I was a little bit nauseous. Um, Mr. Thompson? Yeah. Dr. Coffin, how are you? And I had a super sore arm. Not good. Right. And right now, I got it this morning, and we just have a sore arm, but... But no aches. We'll see. I don't even know what... I'm trying not to think about it, because I don't want to... <laughs> Right. You know, yeah, kind of psych week. myself into feeling something. But right, right, right. My arm is pretty, it's pretty sore. Hurting. Right. Back here. Ah. Okay. When did it? When did you use the hammer drill? About last Thursday. Last Thursday. When did it start hurting? Last Thursday. So that you used it and then it hurt. You're right. Okay. That night. Okay. okay. So next morning. More. More. Yeah. And then, yes, last night, um, it seemed to, to think move of how... from the center of my back. So I need to get that in My whole yeah. elbow now. Okay. I think I, I mean, can get it from here. Touch it. It's almost like touching a boy. And it's going down my arm. Okay. Now, have you done it? What have you taken for it? Anything? My daughter can tell you. We went into William Newton there in Winfield, uh -huh. which is... One grade above a first aid station. Okay. And they give me a muscle relaxer and a pain pill. And now I took it last night, and it did it knocked me out. Okay. Imagine and being on a farm. All the way down. Maybe I'll okay. wait for well, the hospital. Yeah. After yeah. 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 You'd have to learn how to. Yeah. 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 Okay. Evidently. Something. <laughs> Rule there. I grew up in a small town. There's just I grew up in a small town. There's just something so happened. Know. Exactly. Topeka was the closest, or Manhattan, depending on where. Right. You don't have a Mercy Hospital in Topeka. A Mercy? Yeah. Like right back here. Children's Mercy. Ah. Not the bone though, huh? It's all muscle right here. I don't know that there. I don't know. Okay. Not quite sure. I'd have to look it up. You let me move it. You don't move it. I'll do it. 
up, up. Right up in the elbow, right across there. Okay. Oh! Okay. God! This? I have never heard this bad in eight years. Okay. Well, we got an image of it. You said the x ray and that was normal? They said it was normal. Okay. I don't know if they knew what they were doing or not. What other medical problems do you have? Oh. Breathing, head open heart surgery. Okay. COPD. I can't get to it. Okay. Take a deep breath. Good. Squeeze my hand. You got strength in your hand, but it's just moving the shoulder that's bothering you. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll scan your shoulder. I mean, the x-rays, first thing I would have done is an x-ray. If an x-ray is normal and you're in this much pain, we got to look a little closer. It's just, I mean, you just brush it. Yeah. As long as I hold it still, I can move this. Yeah. Scan I'm looks normal. I'm going to have you flip here. Yeah. All right. Let's get it going, all right? We'll get you a scan of your right shoulder. Okay. Are you allergic yep. to anything? Huh? Allergic to anything? Hey, fevers, chills, shortness of breath, cough, vomiting, you know, anything to do other than the oh, pain? Oh, sorry. That's, that's it. That's it. Good. All right, we'll take a look. I'll give you something to, for the pain right now, too. Man. Give me something strong. Looking good. <laughs> Better than me. It looks good, man. Yeah, man, I, I had a, you know, before I came home, like, just go home and take a shot of whiskey, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. you know I'm saying, some Jack, you'll be all right. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have stayed. <laughs> like the old Westerns, you know, like, ah, yeah, right. I didn't do it myself. Hey, she didn't know who Rambo was, man. You know how old that made me feel, bro? I understand. I know who Rambo is. Oh, my God. But I said, uh, Sylvester Stallone, and she's like, oh, Rocky? I'm like... <laughs> It's okay. It's okay, Rocky man. One. Rocky one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta watch Rambo. He 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 sutures himself, man. Okay. I do I'll feel pain. I'll look there. it up. If anything, I'll look up that scene. Yeah. To be quite honest with you, I don't even know the last time I watched the movie. Uh, that part hurts a little. It hurts. Okay. Pull out of here. Man. Yeah, I can feel that. It's the fleshy part, you know. Up here or down here? Down there where you're doing now. Okay. See, see it's even bleeding a little bit. But sew it up. That sensation is like when the needle is first going in. Okay. Like that. Just a poke. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. right. And then once you get it through, then it's like, eh. Okay. So I'm done on that side. So no, I'm just three. saying that just, just for, uh, you know, historic value when I look back at this. It doesn't happen every day, so I'm going to try to capture the moment. So I'm gonna take it out. We do it. Stitch around it and then see take if it we need to actually. I don't know how Frankenstein felt. You know who that is? Right? Yes. Okay, all right. I do. I was about to stop this conversation dead in his tracks. So he said no. I was planning on going back to work today, but uh, I might take the rest of that day off since it's already after one now. I was saying, what do you do for work? I uh, work for McClellan Sound. We install speakers, security systems, alarms, yeah, you know, uh, basically a low voltage electrician is what, what I like to call it. Right, anything that, that won't kill you, like <laughs> just it. shock you. Okay. Just shock the hell out of you, but we don't care. Yeah, I probably would take it easy today, and then I'm gonna want to limit the use as much as you. Well, you can bandage it and just keep it covered while you're at work, I suppose. Do you think you need another one down there? Good. It's all close. Pretty good. Cause this tissue, look, you see that kind of tissue sticking out. It'll probably die anyway, okay. just from the trauma itself. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the inside, so it's probably gonna probably die. It's like a fish out of water. <laughs> Go grab Dr. Coffee and let sure. him give a final yeah, tug. <laughs> yeah. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Mm -hmm. Only spot I'm looking at. This one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. Actually. All right. So that's where it's bleeding from, and yeah, it's not as tight.
So that's a general idea. Keep sewing until the blood stops, huh? Well, so. it'll it'll ooze, but just that one stitch in particular was a little bit loose. Got you. And it so up a bit. I was already debating it, taking it out. So it doesn't hurt to just redo yeah, it. That feels much better. Good and tight. These dissolve or do I need to come back in? You're going to have to come in and get them removed. removed. Okay. Sure, I counted right. This is also just fat too. So it's not muscle or tendon or anything. So if anything, your finger may be a little bit skinnier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me go grab Dr. Coffee real quick. I will be right back. Hello? I'm still here. going yeah some of that stuff will come up will just die that fat or you can just take your tweezers or take the uh, hemostats and just yank it okay. or put it in okay but yeah how many did you get 13 okay but... remember that number yeah because you got to get them taken out yeah. yeah yeah and she left them long which is good sometimes when they're short they're hard to find and then someone's digging around and you're, and you're like you're gonna get renumbed right is it on. still numb uh, it's wearing off. It's wearing off. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. It looks good. good Thank you. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just going to clean it up here a little bit. Let's see. We'll need this when you're going out the Perfect. hall. Perfect. So I'll be sliced on, but we got a... We got a have you had tore it all before? Uh, have you had tore it all before? Tore it all? The hell is that? <laughs> it's a pain medication. Um, so it's... Well, it's going to help quite a bit. Quite a bit? Yeah, I'd say so. You do everything except knock me out. Yes, it does not knock you out. Uh, knock you out, didn't make you tired or anything like that. Not like the stuff you've been taking. No, I think if I... <laughs> oh. Yeah, the pills you've been taking will make you a little tired and knock you out. Yeah. Make me I think sleep. if I redo yeah. the this stitch, one, a, it'll help. It's a shot in the arm, but it makes, makes your arm feel a lot better. 
And she ain't got enough stuff in it. For that little bitty bottle? Yeah. I hope it's good. Well, we'll find out in about 30 minutes. It takes about 30 minutes and it lasts uh, a couple hours, so. Okay. We'll see one of your shoulders. So all that excess. Oh, that left. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. going to die. Uh, how are we going to do this? No matter what we do. You can stretch those things. Stretch it up. Just from the trauma of it all. <clears throat> see where they do the leg. When you get old, you spot it. It's hell to get old. It's going to go way up there. Uh oh. Yep, it's going to relax. Just like that. I would say hold it, hold this up for me, but you know that's not going to work. <laughs> well, no, can't put my arm that way. Do you have any allergies that you know of? Not that I know of. Getting hungry. <coughs> Almost done. This will be the last one. I don't think I need to redo anymore. Right on. But, like, I'm glad I did it. It looks more secure. That is it. Yeah. I'm glad you're going to do something. All right. It's all done. Okay. And then they're going to come down and get you, uh, get you for your CT scan, okay? Oh. CT scan. It's going to be a scan of your shoulder. That way it doesn't just get the bones, it gets the structure around it, okay? Okay. Polish it up. I can feel the sensation coming back. It now. is? Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Stop bleeding. You got it. <laughs> Suturing is a form of hemostasis. Yeah, that's what's up. Bring it in back in balance.
Is that hurting? Just a tad. I feel the pain. Shaved your, your thumb off. I was trying, man. Is there a yes. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you give me some um, Vaseline or just some lubricant and then just like another small package of gauze? Yeah. Just like out of the drawer is fine. Right. Please. Hello. My name's Steve. I'm a radiology nurse. I'm going to take you with me. Place to, to get stitches. What do you mean? Like Maybe just a little spot on his Better on the, on the pad than on oh, the Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes I nice. totally agree. Okay, I'm going to just put this. Helps get off the dried blood. Oh, okay. Trauma nurse taught me that. Was that just regular Vaseline? Pretty much. Just like a lubricant. Petroleum, some type of petroleum. Mm. Yep, just let it sit there for a little bit and wipe I'll it right wipe off. it and I'll wipe right off. Right off. I'm not sitting there rubbing your skin raw trying to get all the dried blood off.
your hand over for me again. Just do another good spray and then I'll wrap you up. Right on. I'm just happy it didn't happen at war. <laughs> you yeah. watch all the medieval shows where the guys are wielding swords and you're like, hmm, <laughs> maybe I'm not so uh, <laughs> battle ready as I thought. <laughs> just imagine if this happened on a battlefield, you know, like, hey, uh, can you guys quit fighting for a minute? I need to have my, <laughs> I need to have my hand sewed up. Yeah. Time out. Sure. Oh, time out on the battlefield. <laughs> okay, thank you. So this is just some um, like antibiotic ointment, yeah. just to kind of help. Yeah, put as much of that on it as you want, man. Get that a good start. And then I'll put this bandage on, keep it on there um, for at least 24 hours, mm -hmm. and then you can take it off. Take a shower. Oh, uh, and you can shower, just don't get the bandage wet. Right on. Um, for at least, yeah, the first 24 hours. And then no hot tubs, pools, soaking it at any time. Ah. I know. <laughs> Increased risk of infection. You don't right want to yeah, soak it in any kind of liquid here. Let me see. And then you're also going to watch for signs of infection. Mm -hmm. um, so there's abnormal drainage from the area. It becomes real red, swollen, um, increased pain. You start. I imagine chills. the first 24 hours, all of that's going to happen until it, you know, goes down. But if I experience anything that I can't take, uh, I live right up the street. Perfect. Uh, the only thing is, can you wrap it with something on top of that so in case I bump into something? Um, yeah. It doesn't hurt. That's, the, yeah. Like some kind of gauze or something. something. Yep, yep, yep. Something else. And uh, maybe a splint. You know what I'm saying? Do uh, like a finger guard? Yes, finger guard. Just... Are you getting feeling back in this yep. part of your finger down here? About 10 minutes ago. Okay, push down on my finger and then pull up against me. Go. That feel too tight? No. Okay. And as far as changing, you're going to give me. Uh, I can mm, give you dressings. Dressings, so I can. Yeah. You've got to...
Okay, I'll just let you know, but it's out. Alright, no problem.